hey, my name is Kara, this is my channel, and today I'm gonna kind of pretend to be like an adult or something, so. Thought I'd do one of these daily vlog type things, even though it's already noon, just because, I don't know, I'm doing stuff today. So this morning, oh hey look, backlighting! So this morning I checked all my stuff on the internet, and now I'm going to go to lunch, and then I'm gonna go get my car, and then I'm gonna drive down to the art building and do a little bit of work on my ceramics, and then I'm going to drive to the auto parts store and get a replacement headlight because one of my low beams has been out for like a week and a half or something like that. So I haven't been driving. So now it's daylight so I can actually get away with no without using my headlight so I can go get a new headlight. And then I'm going to go home for a while and I'm going to be home by myself because my brother's probably at work all day and my mom is on vacation. So come with me, I guess. You don't really have a choice, so come with me. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Am I done now? Okay, I'm done. Yeah, it just got stuck in my head. I said, come, with, come on. Okay, bye. Also, I made these things yesterday, and I'm going to take them home. There's a little fishy charm and a silver wire-wrapped spirally leaf thingy. And then the same leaf bead, but wrapped with gold. Yay, things. Um... Okay, so I went to lunch and I had a nice conversation with people about stupid people who decide to talk to you about religion in really weird places because James Whitman854 from YouTube texted me something that happened to him. Apparently he was in a bookstore and this woman just came up to him, you know, because he was in the New Age section. And this woman came up to him and started saying all these things like, don't read that, that's of the devil and you're going to hell and blah blah blah. And when he respectfully said, you know, maybe you, I can understand that you you believe that but I don't believe that she started screaming burn the witch in the middle of the bookstore and so he got pissed off and left personally I think I would have probably gone and gotten someone who worked at the store and been like um could you please tell this woman to calm down or something I don't know so that's what happened at lunch today and now I am in the art building working on my ceramics and this is a piece that is supposed to combine methods of construction and so this was hand built and coil built and then I am painting it with colored slip so it's basically just colored clay that's been liquefied pretty much and this piece is also supposed to be inspired by someone so this piece is inspired by my grandmother because this piece on the top is going to be a grape and there are grape vines on it now because my grandma's Italian and that makes me think of her so there's people working on the roof frightening but anyway yeah so I am in here working on this stuff for a little bit and then I'm gonna go home it's really frightening figure while I'm here I should show you a little bit more of my ceramic stuff so here's a bunch of stuff I made and has been fired but I still need to glaze it this is a vase or vase type thing that is a human torso inspired this is going to be a big scrying bowl and it has a lot of pagany type symbols on it like Sun and Moon and pentacles and stuff like that and this is a box that I carved this is the lid with the Sun and Moon and some not like designs and then I have symbols of the four elements carved into all four sides and then here's a bunch of just bowls it was our first assignment and a tiny little cylinder and some stuff here here's some stuff I'm working on these are gonna be two cups that say may you never hunger and these are gonna be two plates that have uh, some molding on the back and all the rest of my stuff is waiting to be glaze fired so I've already glazed it and it's on these shelves over here so I made these mugs which th this is gonna be clear so it's gonna be this brown color and all this stuff right in here is mine. Two of my mugs, you can see one here, but they're buried in there. They are green and carved, and they say, may you never thirst. So I'm making the two bowls, which I am right now going to color blue, and they're going to say, may you never hunger, to go along with that. So. so when all of it's fired and this semester is done in the next, like, month or so, that stuff will be done, so I'll get to show you the finished products. Before intermediate because they have to dry before I carve them later this weekend. Always turn the lights out when you're leaving a room, kids. Got my headlight fixed and the guy was nice enough to put it in for me even though he said technically he's not supposed to, so thank goodness that's done. Now I am down at the lake getting a willow branch for a girl on Tumblr who wanted us to send her a willow branch so that she can make her own wand. And I asked my mom to get me a branch before, but I think she kept forgetting, so I'm just gonna do it now. And yes, for any of you who are concerned about my methods, I picked up really big pieces that have fallen off the tree onto the ground 
and I broke them up into more manageable size pieces. So, I did get them from the ground. I did not take them off the living tree. You guys, I just got to my house and there's a stranger here. Hello? Hello, stranger. I don't know who this is. I'm gonna call my mom and find out why there's a puppy in my house I didn't know about. I don't know who you are. Hello. This is such a nice surprise. Turns out this is a stowaway that my brother brought home. And I didn't expect to come home and take care of a puppy today. Look, isn't my life exciting? Isn't it exciting? Artie, get off the table. What are you doing? Get down. Get off the table. Get off the table. Okay. So much for a nice quiet day at home by myself. In other news, my new phone has arrived and now I have to go through a bunch of stuff to like save my contacts and I don't even. I hate getting new phones, I really do. Changing my technology when I get so used to it and I love it and then I have to get a new one every two years, it just makes me upset. But this one apparently comes with apps for Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, and YouTube. In case any of you were wondering, the rest of today sucks because now I don't have dinner because I was just trying to make soup in the microwave and I was really proud of myself because I didn't have to call my mom and ask her how long to put it in the microwave for because I just read the instructions on the can. Well, apparently the instructions were wrong because the microwave exploded, so now I don't have my soup and then I slipped in the puppy crap that I was supposed to leave for my brother to clean up when he got home in a few hours, so that's great. So now I'm going to go take a shower and hey? Okay, I'm gonna end it now, and maybe I'll find something fun to put in at the end to end on a good note. Okay? Okay. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Listen to <laughs> This is my unknown named puppy, but I think I might name it Thor. He's... He's... <laughs> he's making a really funny noise! Everything's better, right puppy? Kara was having a crappy day, and now she's less angry. Ow! Ow! Ow, he has my foot. Oh, God, he's going to eat all your foot. Puppy's going to eat all the things. Puppy! Yes, I am having trouble. Help! No! Get off of that Shakespeare. Get off my pillow. Hello. More furry things. Yay. The music is perfect, too. Yeah.